Okay, in this video I'm going to uh, look at line graphs, how to make a line graph, and we're going to uh, plot the data, we're going to label the axis, we're going to and we're going to find the point on the axis and place your ruler uh, follow the ruler along the other axis and where your ruler meets the axis is your answer. Um, obviously I can't use the uh, part of the I can't use a ruler on here um, but I'll do my best to explain uh, how you do it. Okay, so the first thing is to plot the data carefully. Well, this is our data over here. All right, so our data is uh, my cat's weight over the last nine months. So my cat's name is Ruby, and uh, I measured his weight in January. He was uh, only two, kilo two kilograms, okay? In February, he was three kilograms, and in March, he was four and a half kilograms. In April, he was five kilograms. In May, he lost a little, bait, a little bit of weight, and he was four. In June, he was four kilograms again. In July, he got up to four and a half kilograms. In August, he was five kilograms, and in September, he was seven kilograms. Okay? So, this is our data, all right? And this column here, the month, is what we will be writing along the bottom here. So the months go along the bottom. The weight in kilograms along here will go along the side. All right. Now, we always have to make sure that we start with a title. Okay. So in this case, I would change this to Ruby's weight. All right. So let's change that now. Ruby's weight. Okay, and we'll get rid of that. And now we have to start plotting the data, right? Well, so along here is going to be weight. So I'll just write along here, weight. Okay, and we've got um, some lines drawn along here. We have to kind of work out what are going to be the numbers that we're writing along here? Are we going to go up in ones? Is this going to be one kilogram, two kilograms, three kilograms, four kilograms, five kilograms? Or would it be better to go up in twos, sets of two, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, or what? I think uh, because our largest number is seven, all right, uh, we've got zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can we can just go up in one kilogram uh, weights, okay? In one kilogram steps. So just write one there, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right. Now remember that this is called the y-axis. And we're measuring this in kilograms. Okay, so we'll just make sure that that says kilograms. All right. And as I said earlier, along here we have months. All right, I've already written the word months here. Uh, so, but we'll just write in January. February. March. April. May, June, July, August, September. Okay? Now, when you're doing that along here, you do have to be quite careful that you don't write too large because the spaces in between here have to be the same. Okay? You can't have bigger spaces between January and February than between February and March the distance between this line here, this space, and this line here, the distance between those two lines has to be the same here as it is over here, and the same here. The distance between these lines has to be the same between each number. Okay? So, right, we've got our, we've got our axes labeled. Okay, this is the x-axis. Okay? And now we can start plotting our data. Okay, so January 
ruby was two kilograms. So there's January, and there's where two kilograms is, so we can put a little dot. All right. And February, he was three kilograms, so there's February. We go up to three kilograms, and we put a dot. And March, he was four and a half, so March is there. There's three, there's four, there's five, but if he, he's not five, he's four and a half, so he's going to be between here and here. So we'll just kind of like that. That's roughly in the middle. And April, he was five kilograms. May, he was four. In June, he was four. And in July, he was four and a half. In August, he was five, and in September, he was a whopping seven kilograms. Bottom McDonald's. Okay, so now what we do is um, we've let, let's just check, and make sure we've done everything so far. We've plotted the we plotted the data. Yep, we've done that. We've labeled the axis. We've labeled it with. Uh, what we're measuring and the unit of measure, okay? We've added a title describing what the graph shows, Ruby's weight, we've done that. Uh, we've found the point on the axis. We haven't used a ruler, luckily we had lined paper so we didn't need it. Uh, so we've done these two and we've done this one. So now all we need to do is we just need to draw some straight lines from each of these dots and join them up, okay? so. We'll just uh, turn on our line drawing thing here, and we just go from there to there, to there. Now this would be for you the same thing as using a ruler. I just draw a straight line from each dot and make sure that I'm doing it as carefully as I can. You should try to make sure there aren't any spaces, but it's a little bit difficult for me to do it without spaces here. Okay, so that's that. Go back to our pen. Okay, so you can see that Ruby's weight went up, went up, went up, but then come spring and summer, he lost some weight, but then at the end of the summer and it was starting to get a bit colder, he started to pack on some more weight, getting ready for uh, the winter. Okay, so that's that. And that is how to do a line graph. Now, a couple of questions that I'd like you to answer. Question number one is, uh, in what month was Ruby at his heaviest? In what month was Ruby at his heaviest? The second question is, what two months was Ruby exactly the same weight. Now there's more than one answer for that, so be careful. Okay, so in what two months, or what set of two months, was Ruby exactly the same weight? I'll take two different answers for that. All right, so good luck on that. Please come ready to class tomorrow with any questions you have, anything you're not sure about, this is the way we can sort out the questions really quickly and get you doing some fabulous line graphs. Okay, so make sure you can do, if you're having a bit of problems or you're not really sure, start the video again and this time do the line graph along with me on a piece of lined paper if you have it and that might help. All right, but if you still don't get it, that's fine. Just make sure you bring your questions to us in class tomorrow, and uh, we'll get you straightened around. Okay? Have a great day. Bye-bye.